In today's video, I want to show how I dissect the air heater, the diesel heater that I bought uh, directly from China. It was not one of those uh, eBay um, heaters. Um, I contacted directly the company in China. They said the heaters are military grade, whatever that means. And um, I think it's a decent heater. It worked always when I needed it. Um, basically, I needed it for working in the truck and never used it for camping. Actually, one time I used it for camping and uh, it was, was a little loud for the environment uh, there. But uh, that was because there was no uh, silencer on it. But other than that, uh, I think the, the heater is doing a good job. And uh, today I wanted to see if I can modify it. Because my wife says she will never be able to sleep when this uh, diesel pump is clicking the whole night. Um, I kind of agree with her. It's not fun. Um, I've seen a couple of videos where people are trying to modify the pump or try to modify the location of the pump or wrap it into something to make it silent. And then in the end, they had big success uh, by stuffing the microphone in their pocket and showing um, how silent it is. Um, I don't believe that. Uh, I don't think you can get this pump uh, so silent that in the middle of the night you will not hear anything. Um, so I want to go, want to try, I will, I'm not sure if I succeed with it, but I will try to go a different approach uh, by with a rotary pump, a rotary diesel pump. I'm not quite sure which pump yet, but um, I have a few ideas. But the first step, and that's today, is to take the heater apart and see what, what's inside and what I may need. Um, as you see, this heater also has a CE sign. Um, that's one of the big critics uh, a lot of people have uh, that supposedly uh, these Chinese heaters from eBay are not allowed to be used in, uh, in Germany or in Europe. Um, this has a, not only a CE sign, there was also a certific certificate of conformity with it. Um, whatever value that has, I have no idea. But anyway, um, it's not, uh, not to totally crazy. By the way, also, this is uh, not uh, a paid commercial or anything by this company. I don't even know the, the name of the company anymore. I would have to look it up if somebody asks me what uh, heater that is. Um, I'm just, uh, and also I don't think uh, it will be really advertising, um, taking this uh, uh, heater apart. It probably I will show or find a few things that the company doesn't want to reveal. So um, this is uh, an, an honest uh, review of what I find in here. Um, I'm also trying not try to sell you that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I simply want to modify it to make it better and uh, possibly if it works if my idea works um, it could make it better for a lot of people because this clicking seems to be a problem for uh, for many so as you can see the voltage of this heater is 24 volts um, 2 kilowatts um, i have a few questions about these 2 kilowatts uh, but uh, to that later um, 24 volts was because the, my idea at the time was to put the 24 volt system in the truck. In the meanwhile, I've changed my opinion and I put a 12 volt uh, battery in the fire truck. Um, but I have a little uh, converter in there, so no big deal. It just has to be uh, powerful enough to handle at least 10 amps because uh, otherwise um, the converter will burn through during the uh, heat up of the the candle, the, the glow plug. So let's let's start taking it apart. Um, I damaged already a few things on, on the heater. Uh, I dropped it once and uh, for example here um, there is a hole in it. I don't think it uh, really matters because it's the exit side anyway so if it blows out uh, 
the regular vent or this hole doesn't really matter in my opinion uh, this is the the fan side where it blows the air in from this side and as you can see there's also tap missing from one of my attempts to opening it i was a little bit too harsh on it so that's uh, already one minus uh, on this this is just clips i hate clips um doesn't matter where it is in a car or whatever that uh, goes once this clip is uh, unlatched uh, or these both clips are unlatched be careful with that they break easily and uh, the, the lid comes off that's the first step to take it apart uh, next step is uh, taking this uh, cap off and then there is also that side here that is also clipped in which should come off hopefully okay you saw this uh, this is actually the area where to push it out and now we can take the whole heater out of its housing and it looks like this what i've noticed right away is um this uh, aluminum cast aluminum uh, lid for the electronics uh, it's actually a nice feature the most uh, other system that i've seen the ones from from ebay um they seem to have um only a plastic um cover here um since the cold air is going this direction this will also help cool in the electronics and this way it may help uh, it, the, the controller to last a little bit longer so not a bad feature um i'm actually impressed with that i didn't expect that in a um uh, such a heater i should also mention this heater was more expensive than the, the ones um, that i offered in ebay um I, it was also shipped by fedex and um, the customs duty fees were uh, paid very officially so everything um, is just uh, official there's nothing uh, fishy about this deal and um, so but it was still cheaper than uh, the russian uh, heaters or the german uh, heaters um, I've heard that uh, these heaters are mainly uh, copies of Eber Specials um, heaters. I have never taken an Eber Special apart. If somebody has a broken one, you can send it to me. I'd like to have a look. Um, but um, yeah, I just believe it. It's uh, it's basically the Eber Special design. Uh, it seems like that all pretty much all the parts from the Eber Special uh, supposedly work on those heaters um i have not exchanged anything yet so i didn't have to buy any parts so uh, not really a um uh, yeah, much mixed experience with that kind of stuff so let's open up the electronics department compartment not department compartment A little difficult to work around the camera but i wanted to tape it first of all or mainly actually in order to see what i actually did if i take something apart and can't find how to put it back together i can always go back on the videos um that's the electronic box and again not much as i hate those You never know if you do something wrong with it if they don't open or if it's just stubborn or something is moving ah the contacts are coming out that's why it's a little stubborn Right. 
some electronics. I'm not really an electronic guru. I understand a little bit about it, but um, just enough to be dangerous. Let's see what we find behind. Drop the screw. Right, here it is. I'm keeping them on the side here. Let's keep some parts. All right, let's have a look at the electronics here. This is interesting. It seems it looks like a microcontroller. I can't read it with my bad eyes. I will have to zoom in. Probably an Atmel, like an Arduino. Let's have a look. All right, I'm just uh, compared the Atmel chips on this controller board uh, with an Arduino Uno. And looking it up uh, online, it seems like that this uh, Uno has actually more program memory um, than uh, this chip has on here. So with an Arduino, Uno, I could easily um, simulate the program on it. Of course, I need some additional hardware, whatever this around is here. Um, but it would be a really good start. The program would certainly fit on the, the, the program would certainly fit on it. And uh, well, we we'll see if we can take over and maybe take this uh, controller out. Um, but that's uh, a little bit in the future still. Before I dig too deep into the electronics, I'd like to figure out what this part is here. I suspect it's some kind of a thermocouple. Maybe we can find out a little more by taking it out. Okay. I guess I wasn't too wrong. That seems to be some kind of a thermocouple. Unfortunately, I can't find anything written on it. I'm not quite exactly sure what this piece is here. It's some kind of a thermal probe or a thermal fuse. I think the, the small electronic part in here is probably a heat fuse. So it burns through when that the heat gets too much in there uh, to the point that the plastic would melt uh, from the heater and that shuts most likely the fuel pump off um, but on the other hand we also need or the, the controller also needs a temperature setting i found this probe online in the chinese marketplace um, it was called a pt1000 thermal probe I don't think that's what it is. Um, the resistance is quite odd. Um, let's see. <clears throat> it's a set to 200k up to 200 kilo ohms. And let's see what it shows. The other two show 133, 134 uh, kilo ohms. And between there and there, a little hard with the camera there. Thirty-three point six kilo. Uh, now we have. Sorry, I think that's what I had before too. Sixty-seven point one uh, kilo ohm between those two. And here and here. And get a reading and also 135 kilo ohms um, that's a little odd for a pt1000 i think if somebody knows what this uh, piece is uh, i would appreciate if you could leave me a link um, in the description um, 
I think it's actually quite a high value part. Uh, it costs five euros uh, in China if you to to replace it, but um, compared to the other garbage uh, that's I've seen in the other heaters, uh, uh, this is not a bad piece. But I don't know exactly what it's doing, and I would like to know what it's doing in case I have to program uh, gram it myself. Um, I could always replace it with another thermal probe. Um, that's no problem. But um, yeah, I'd like to know what it is. Um, I will not take out the glow plug here. Where is it? This here. Um, the Chinese supplier claims that this is a um, high quality Japanese uh, glow plug. As a matter of fact, I had a discussion on a uh, um, internet forum with uh, one person that's associated with the Russian heater supplier, uh, which is still quite a bit ex more expensive than this Chinese uh, part. And uh, I wanted to find out what actually is the quality difference between the Chinese um, heaters and uh, his, the, the Russian heaters. Well, there was a little bit of a language barrier, um, but uh, the outcome was, he was saying, it's the um, uh, main or a difference. A, uh, he said one difference is the, the uh, glow, glow plugs, the Chinese glow plugs, plugs, the Chinese glow plugs are not uh, very good. Um, but since this Chinese heater supplier claims that's also a, Chi um, a Japanese glow plug, I wonder if there's not much of a difference anymore between the um, you know, the Russian and even maybe the German um, diesel heaters or pliers and the, the um, Chinese anymore. Um, and some of the Chinese brands that I've found on their websites, I wonder even if the quality has been it's been higher. Uh, meanwhile, of course, those are also not the the hundred euro. Um, heaters that you can buy on the um, the bay, um, but for 150 you could get a decent heater, I think, uh, which does not cost you like a thousand or 500 or something like this. Um, my impression is these heaters are quite good quality. The cast is likely the same everywhere anyway. I'm sure also the German suppliers have the Chinese cast. Um, and the the other sub components are yeah, standard components, so there is not much you could do wrong. What I noticed though is that um, the efficiency cannot be really high of these heaters. Um, one reason is, first of all, one reason is that this controller is um, actually a, a five kilowatt controller doesn't say 2.5 it's the, the number is fh F, fjh2 and then a 5 kilowatt so this controller is the same uh, for the 5 kilowatt as for the 2 kilowatt that i have here that means uh, unless they have a different pump on the other one which i kind of doubt um, that um, they inject them the same amount of fuel into the 2 kilowatt and the 5 kilowatts since the two kilowatt is smaller and has a smaller cooling body here uh, that means uh, the energy has to go out of the exhaust um, there's no other place for it to go so it must be going out the exhaust which is very inefficient um, and the, the second reason for inefficiency is that um, the fan drives the cooling fan to cool down the cooling ribs here as well as the fresh air um, for the inside of the burning chamber. Uh, this is uh, this has to be a compromise at all times, because uh, if you blow too much uh, air into the burning chamber, um, it burns quite well then. There's no suds coming out, no black smoke. Um, but also you increase the, uh, the rest oxygen. Uh, by doing so, which also means um, that you blow a lot of cold air in there, which brings it down to inefficiency again. Um, so 
certainly this will be only uh, some kind of a compromise but for such a small area like the, most people heat with this uh, it, it does not really matter it's still way less than uh, heating a house with that um, i may look into it a little bit uh, further into these heaters um, at the moment i ordered a pump um, for the heater which i will try to retrofit onto it and see if it burns with that um, with the other pump uh, i ordered from china so it's gonna take a little bit before it's oh they even have balance here impressive well it's uh, gonna take uh, a little while uh, before it's here and before i can continue but i will keep you updated with my progress here it may this project may project may actually fail I do not know if it's going to work out, but uh, I'll take you also on the, fa on the fail if it does not work out. So um, the next person who has the same idea like me um, doesn't have to do, do the same mistake. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. I will bring more of these type of videos uh, in the future. Um, also, we'll... Um, do a little bit more on the battery system this winter so if you like these kind of things uh, please keep watching thank you very much and see you next time bye bye